It's a cold, cold night out here in Virginia Beach, and we are in good spirits, pulling up to the Current FM radio station, and we're gonna see what Duke White and the gang are talking about. Wow. You know, what's up, man? At the same time, you think about it like, wait, 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 are you serious? You know, how, how is this happening? Like, you, you think so, you think you're gonna find the, the what you're looking for, right? You know, by being arrogant or prideful, or you're gonna find what you're looking for, you know? And I'm trying to prove you wrong and Google it and find out that I'm actually killing myself. Yeah. Right, right. Obedience is so much better than sacrifice. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But I, the, the humiliating part was the fact that I couldn't after I Googled it, I couldn't tell you that I found the truth and that you were right. That's pretty funny. But the reason why I brought that up is because the same way we read those instructions, you know, like, oh, I was telling the story just in case you guys missed it. Uh, I was taking, uh, I decided to take two men's one a day, and I've been doing it for the last couple of days. Okay. And basically... It's called one a day. <laughs> Katie. Yeah, not two a day. <laughs> Thank you. Right, right here. Right here. See, basically. <laughs> and common sense walks in the okay, room. But, but, right, right. But you gotta understand, I'm thinking vitamins, like this is like dosage. eating fruit, right? I'm thinking like eating fruit, vitamins. Do you understand the thought process at least? No. But, mm, it's called one of them. No, listen. Or do you okay. mean like take two? I'm not justifying it right now. Are, are, are you not? saying hey, like take two? Uh, no, I'm trying to just say, does anyone understand my thought process about the fruit thing? Mm. Vitamins are in fruit. Yes. So... I was like taking these vitamins, taking two mints one a day, is like eating a bunch of fruit. But so is one. That's the whole point is that you get your and vitamins it's not and really minerals like eating uh, fruit. that you would normally <laughs> This eat. is going to be one of those conversations <laughs> like the whole caps me yelling thing. So the, the story is that what happened was I googled it and I found out that it actually turns your intestines like, what is it, dysentery, say it? Dysentery. Dysentery. And it, the minerals actually turn toxic when you take two... Yeah. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. I'm just <laughs> so I, I found out, and I couldn't tell her because I was so embarrassed that it was actually true. And that's what that's what that's what the story is. I'm pretty sure there's like a warning label that says like. <laughs> is there a warning label the on it? Did you see a warning label? Stuff? Yeah, it's probably called. Like Did you see a warning label? Like a no, but like my my common sense was. <laughs> like I didn't it need says, one. Exactly, it says one a day, and you're taking one like, a day. Two. <laughs> But maybe he thought Dang. he was supposed to take. Do you two not understand once a day. Like, that's just I'm like talking, people saying I skipped the day on taking a pill. Let me double up. Like no, you can't. I think up. like that. <laughs> right. No. Gonna, it's like you missed the no, big just you warning sign. The day before, you still need to take <laughs> your vitamins. It's today, almost yeah. it's almost like they took the extra step of saying just so people don't mess this up, we'll even call it one what? a day. <laughs> we'll title the entire company one a day. Just so people don't mess up the instructions. But then there's and Duke. there's Duke White. <laughs> but but, but the, the, the thing that she was talking about about reading the instructions, and, and that's where I wanted to kind of go, is like, I could have really messed myself up, right? right. And, and I'm thinking like, okay, so here's the word of God, right? And first of all, I'm not trying to be funny with anybody, but the Bible is written on a fifth grade reading level. Um, so. And they have different versions and like that, different like, versions. simpler it down. Like, yes. simpler. simpler it. Yeah. Yes. Got it. You guys Got say it. bad words. <laughs> but, but, no, seriously, dude, like, it, it's the weirdest thing to me how the Word of God is trying to protect us. It is the warning, la like, the warning labels up there. It literally says, like, what you said, one a day, you know, like, like you know, like, and it's Whole so company. funny how, like, I'll hear so many different people say, well, what we need to do is this, and I'm like, all I do is go, oh, man, that's crazy, because the Word says that, and then they're like, you know, <laughs> and they're like, well, no, I don't believe in the Bible, but dude, you just said it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like, I don't do you know what you're like, saying? You just said this, and I just let you know that it reminded me of a scripture, and they're like, well, I don't believe what the Bible says. Yeah, but but you just like, quoted a scripture from it. A script, right, and it's so, it's so amazing to me how hard it is to follow the word of God, but you can follow the principles of the word of God for anything else. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to following the word of God for your soul's sake, it's like we got that. We like we like to create our little own. Well, people own. like to pick and pull. Like, oh, this this works for me. No, that doesn't work for me. Yeah, these next three pages are nonsense. But this actually works yeah. well Katie for me. Her hair. Katie, and it looks so Katie cute. is beautiful. Mm. But anyways. <laughs> 
She's like, thank you, thank you. She's like, cool. stop it, keep it coming. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was going to say that people pull, like, their favorite scriptures and use it as, like, quotes from famous people. You know how, like, <laughs> senior quote or something? Instead of, like, no, that's actually, like, out of the Is it senior quote? No, you're right, you're right. It's, just, it's like a cool, like, tagline. And it's like, no. Like how politicians show up around election time to the church, they come to visit the church and right. stuff like that, you know. Hmm. Uh, like and we and we do like to pick and pull, and and that's why one of the things I'm saying is that if, you, if you're going to try to press on in life when things are coming against you, the first thing that uh, and, and to do like like a overall, you know, if I have, there's a point of tonight's conversation, the first thing is don't make things harder for yourself. So if I'm going to eat the two men one day, when my intestines turn to mush. You know, yeah, okay, I'm going to pray and ask God to heal me, but I shouldn't be too shocked <laughs> if he's right. like, nah, man, I mean, dude, you did this. Right. You know what I mean? It's great if the grace and the mercy comes, but it's not like God's wrong if... Mm-hmm. I mean, I think, <laughs> the, I think the funny part about it is, like, when people read the Bible, they're just like, okay, I read the Bible once, so now I know everything that it says, but then we still go and do the, the silly things on our own. But it's like, the Bible is so obvious and so clear that it's like one sign right here says don't do this and you keep driving on and it's just like oh i read it kind of and then it gets bigger and it's just like don't do this yeah, yeah. and then you keep driving past and you're just like yeah it was just two sides and then it gets bigger with lights and fireworks going right, right, off right. saying yo like really you should probably turn around right about like here is right. a sign you know what i'm saying yeah. so the bible is so clear it's oh, just that we need to take the time to really like not even take the time we just need to like humble ourselves to listen to it mm-hmm. mm. because th- while you were saying that i just totally saw uh somebody driving off a cliff like through the through the stop sign straight like, up the barricades and everything like stop 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 and they're like <laughs> just I gotta find out what that means. You know, like, there's something they don't want us to see. No, it's just about protecting. Like, I've heard people say things like the Bible's about control, that it's about controlling women, that it's 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 pro-slavery, and it's like, and I'm like, first of all, how are you gonna get black folk to, to appreciate the Bible if it's pro-slavery? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's not pro-slavery. You know what I mean? It's, it's, like, like, how are you gonna, you know what I mean? Like, like, it doesn't make sense when you're trying to save mankind, when God's trying to bring a word to save mankind and get us to a higher level of revelation. Uh, and the I, word's been around way longer than that anyway. Like, come on. Right, right. And, and that's what's so sad is that that there's his... First of all, have you seen the finds that they're finding? Like 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 the, the archaeological studies that they're finding? Like, they just found... Uh, <laughs> They found in the, the place where the Philistines used to live, that she found Goliath's house now, where he lived. And I mean, these are things that are just amazing archaeological finds. And they're saying that, hey, this is the further we go along history, they're going studying deeper and deeper in Israel. And a lot of people don't know Israel's history, how they do things. But when Israel wanted to cover, or when anyone would take over Israel, they would build on top of the country. So they literally, the same way we've taken down mountains to build cities, that the other cultures used to build on top of other cultures. So the deeper they dig, the more they're finding, and they're finding a lot of things that validate the Bible. Before, they didn't have much information about King Solomon during his reign uh, as king. Well, as they dig deeper, they're finding more and more, uh, like, how he really was king. And, they, you know, a lot of the times you look through the scriptures and you hear names you don't recognize, but they're finding more information about these people. Uh, and they even found they're finding information about a young man who reported seeing a kid, uh, who reported seeing a kid, you know, bringing dead animals back to life. You know what I mean? Uh, in Bethlehem. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You know what I mean? And he didn't say his name. He's just saying he was in the woods. He saw this kid doing this stuff, and it freaked him out, basically. You know what I mean? And you know, it's right around the time that Jesus would have been a kid. And they're finding this stuff like, listen, science eventually is going to have to connect the dots. You can't be like, you know, like you can go, this makes sense, that makes sense. One plus one is two. No, that just makes too much sense. We're not going to skip over that. You know, you know, like, like you don't get the privilege to do that. You're like, and I think one of the things that that's happening in today's society is we, we were becoming a nation so filled with questions that we're not listening to any of the answers. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. It's like we're not, we're not, you know. It, we're just, it feels good to just ask questions, but then when there's time where we need legitimate strength, people, I'm telling you, the only way to do it 
<laughs> Same. You know, I, I used to tell my dad how much I want to lose weight, and he'd be like, "Well, then just stop eating junk food, man. That's that's the only way." I'm like, "No, no, no. I need to do this." And he was like, "No. What you need to do is exercise and stop eating junk food." And I'd be like, "No. There's got to be another way." I'm, I'm looking at every pill commercial. <laughs> you know, because you wanted to make you want you want there to be another way. Mm -hmm. But the idea is to burn energy, you know, muscle build, things like that. And so that is, and you know, like you said, it's a humbling thing uh, because we do want it to. <laughs> I just thought about how much money, it, uh, people like the world makes off people who want to do things the wrong way. Or we're corners. Just a microwave society, like we want a quick mm -hmm. fix, like. Yeah. I want my change now. I don't want to go through the process. Yeah, we were just talking about the process the, yeah. early. And I think like another part of it too is I think that us as a people, we've just become too opinionated. Like we talk too much. Like we talk too much and just like you said, we don't listen. Like we, we feel like we have an opinion about this, that and the other and we feel like we have all the right answers. And whenever someone has something to say, they're just kinda like, All right, like you know, no, I don't listen. Look, this is how it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? And I think we just mess ourselves up. We we're just too caught up. Yeah, and I, I mean, I definitely totally agree because I, and I find that you know a lot of the things in the Bible, a lot of people don't read the Bible and don't consider it because it does undo your belief systems. Uh, and these are things you know, your belief system is something you work on from the time you're like seven or eight years old experiences what your parents teach you what you see on tv what you've made of the situations you've been through uh you make these belief systems and so now you've got to undo all that and so it's instead of instead of undoing all that you'd rather just a lot of people just rather live life based on opinion the problem with that is is that see the thing is when you have truth everything it it, it 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 forms around that truth. So you you apply that truth to everything. The truth is the constant, but your opinion is just the variable. So it's like th there, you're knocking into truths and truths and truths, but you're weighing them against your opinion oh, as opposed can to I, actually can, getting the answer. Can I, can, I, can I like put your business out there real quick about your past? Like, the, yeah, please. I just want to make sure that y'all understand this is not a church boy talking. Like like church sure. boy. Like, <laughs> not at like, all. Like, <laughs> okay, because because everything you said was so true, I just need to make sure people are like, but you don't know what it's like to have an addiction to drugs oh my and this gosh. and that. Like for I just don't want people to miss it because they think that right, right, right. you're like so well studied in the word and like, okay, this dude was like what shrooms, acid, like we did yeah, it all, yeah. we did it all, like we that we, was my life. <laughs> yeah, we, we, did, we did, and it was like partying, alcohol. Yeah. you know what I mean. We're talking about nights that. We do, and I think that goes for all. Is that safe to say that all of us pretty wild out? We wild out. Oh uh, yeah. Every, yeah, except, yeah. Okay, so all of us had these really wild times. So we're not people who just like, you know, since birth we all we were submerged in the womb. Right. You, know, like, <laughs> like, like, you came out of the womb <laughs> singing hallelujah. Right, 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 right. And then turned into super fish. You know what I mean? We were like, come on, like, like we no, saw what's like out. So we we're, were like, because I just want to. Sure. I said, I'm sorry, man. I just had to make no, sure. No, and I'm, I'm glad you did that because a lot of people do. They look at me and they're like, man, I think your your opinion is kind of a a biased opinion because you've been this way forever. And it's like, no, I mean, I've probably been the way I am now for I would say probably like a year and a half um, I, you know I've been a serious Christian probably for about three years I'm 25 years old so a majority of my life was opinion and weighing truth with my opinion and the thing is is that because it's your opinion and you've made it see truth is just truth your opinion is yours and so it's more of like your object it's your thing and you actually nurture it and you and you, and you protect it because it's your opinion it's like any other object you have your cell phone whatever it's your opinion but truth is out there for everyone and so when we come into these truths, whether it's coming out of somebody's mouth or it's in a scripture uh, or it is it just we realize that from our, our personal experience, uh, it, 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 it knocks us down kind of heavy because then it disrupts our circle of knowledge, it, you know, <laughs> and, and so that's exactly what God wants to do is penetrate our circle of knowledge, uh, you know, with, with, with truth and with his word and with revelation and stuff like that. But that will never happen if you just weigh everything with your own opinion. Yeah. You'll never get true answers and you'll always be asking questions, which will just give you more opinions, which will just keep you on the path uh, that you're that, that uh, of living on variables. One of the dumbest questions that I hear is you have some, you have some? Well, I was just gonna say that like based off of the whole like opinion I'm like rebounding off of that Like the thing about opinions is that they change like opinions <laughs> It's not even like this is my opinion. I stand firm like let something happen right let this situation and take your place. opinion can completely change like 
Like, I used to think, oh man, motorcycles are so cool, like, I would love for, you know, eventually have a motorcycle or whatever, but now my mom works for a lawyer and everything, and they deal with car accidents, so I used to come home, or she would come home every night and, like, tell me these, like, horrific stories of car accidents and all this other stuff, and after Matt going through his car accident, it's like, yeah, what if he got hit and he was on a motorcycle, like... So now I was like, nope, I don't like motorcycles. He's never getting a motorcycle. So it's like your opinion can be changed and altered. Right. But truth is truth regardless of, like, how you feel or think. Yeah. Like, it's still the truth. It's even heavier it's than fact. Matter, yeah, it's just a matter <laughs> yes. of if you accept the truth or not. It's still the truth. Amen. And that's the thing is that, when, you know, like, I get why people struggled with the idea of Jesus being the son of God. Like, I, like the, I saw the kid grow up. So it's like, yo, you. Jesus, you grew up with Bob. You know, like, 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 like come on, man. Like, like, you want, like, you want me to believe this? And then it's like, okay, so you walked in water. Bob, you go for it. You know what I mean? Like, right, right, like, right. At some point, you have to say, okay, I get it now. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. okay, you raised from the dead. I'm sure we all concentrate hard enough. Right. We can, we can levitate. We can, like, we can be like, at, at some point, when, like, everything you've been asking God to do, God's like, okay, I'll do it. It doesn't mean you're going to believe, and God knows that. God knows that you, the only thing that's going to cause you to believe is when you actually stop and you really see him everywhere. Like, Amen. you have to open your eyes, uh, empty yourself of all your questions, and just trust him. Because Amen. God, he wrapped himself in the concept of faith. Amen. So you're going to stay blinded. You're never going to figure it out as long as you refuse to have faith. Yeah. And... Here's the thing is that trials and tribulations, the scripture tells us. I love how, you know, like the Bible doesn't hold anything back. He's like, look, stop trying to get away from your trials and tribulations. Trials and tribulations are going to work your faith. Yeah, amen. And like, we want to just be like frogs on the lily pallet, pallet people are called pads, lily pads. Lily pads, yeah. We just like, just sitting there. We don't want anything to ever happen to us ever. You know what I mean? Because we're, we, you know. But the thing is, like, it rains on the just and the unjust. So regardless, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't <laughs> accept the truth, you're still going to get rained on. <laughs> <laughs> right. And that's the whole point is that, that God is literally, he's also the God of the unbeliever. So God can bless who he wants to. And, he, you know, they don't have to be righteous. But, you know, it's, it's like God is totally in control. And, and, and we're so not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, we're yeah. so not. So it's like, why would we think that, we, like, we can, like, I love it when I hear people, I mean, I try not to be a jerk about it, but when people are like, what are you doing tomorrow? And I'm, the first thought that comes to my mind was like, well, if tomorrow should come, I, 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 I would like to, but everyone, you know, everyone freaks out, but it's like, yo, the rapture could happen. I mean, yo, you know, people like, hate when you mention, like, I, I don't even know if I'm going to see tomorrow, but don't talk like that. Don't tomorrow. talk like that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Just because you didn't. Will. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 I say something like that, yeah. And, and that, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yo, listen, this is real life. Anything can happen at any time. And when you're on the Lord's side, it's always a good thing when anything can happen at any time because we always know that if God is letting us go through it, it's got to be for a good reason. Straight up. And, that, and that's the truth, man, all over the world. The thing is, isn't that like anything can happen all the time. The, 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 the truth about it is anything for somebody is happening, is happening all the time all over the world. That's right. <laughs> so everybody's going to be freaking out if we're going based off of our, our own understanding of what life is. Look at the contrast at a hospital. There are babies being born, taking their first breath, and there are babies in the same place taking their last breath. Amen. That, that's Sadly so enough, man. That's insane. And, and there are people walking out with their bundles of joy, and there are people walking out in tears. Yeah. You know I mean? There's someone who who is having a successful heart transplant and someone who isn't. Right. I mean, and, like, God is behind all of this stuff. You yeah. know, like, making a difference. And, and if you look at the, like, if you thought about just the energy that's going on in the atmosphere from cell phone usage... Uh, imagine mm. how much energy is actually happening from heaven and earth interacting. Wow. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, if man. we, if mankind has figured out a way to, like, we know, okay, I don't think we have a problem saying that someone's on their cell phone right now. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're right. Like, oh, yeah. There, there's the internet going. All this stuff is happening above us. They even name it the cloud and all of this stuff. So there's so much energy and power going on around us and electricity and everything that's going on that we're just so used to that we don't even pay attention. We just expect it to work because we have faith. Right. We have faith in it. We have faith in the system. I mean, you know, like, you know, and, and it's crazy. 
But then we wonder if our prayers work. <laughs> but I, it's so sad that we have faith in a broken system when we can have faith in a system that it will never be broken. You know what I'm saying? How do you find out that system's broken if you never give the system a chance? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's yeah. how people have to like they have their problem is they won't give the system a chance. Like you give the other system a chance because you had no option. You were born into that system. Yeah. But try something where everybody wants to be so rebellious and everybody wants to be like do their own thing, but they don't realize that the most hey, they don't realize <laughs> that the most rebellious thing you can do is stop following what you can see and believe in something you can't. That is rebellious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ was extremely rebellious. Ask the Pharisees. Uh, right. It, right. It, 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 it takes something incredible in order to believe in this God. And, and I mean, I think about what you're saying, like everything being made out of, I, I, literally everything is made out of energy. If you look at our computers, if you look at the cell phone, if you look at my keys, it all comes from the earth. <laughs> right. It all comes from what God has made. Uh, and, and so if we can trust in these things, if we, if we can obviously, if we see these things have happened, why can't we trust in, in what God has placed around us and in us? Does that make sense? Like, no, it makes perfect sense. If we see that a computer can come from the earth, it's possible that this can happen with enough faith, with enough dedication, with enough uh, seeking and finding of answers and utilizing the questions. Why can't that happen with our lives yeah. just by asking God directly? Which is it's crazy because like your camera was one time like it was in, in the, the air, it was, it was in the, in the dirt. Earth. It was great. Like you know, like the glasses you're wearing that was in the ground. Like our clothes, we think that like, they didn't grow in Macy's. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> There's no farm called Macy's. You know, just, dude. The ability <laughs> for you all to hear what we're saying through airwaves <laughs> came from the ground. <laughs> Right, right, right. It's pretty funny, you know. And then you, we it's have, amazing. <laughs> but we have a problem understanding that we came from the ground. Right. You know what I mean, and that God, you know, and and that's what I'm saying is that, uh, like, God, God. First of all, God is the original genius. He really uh, is, man. You know what I mean? And 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 like when you start really think, and I think what it is is that here's what I think it is, is that I think that a lot of times people just don't feel like thinking about how awesome he is. Because mm -hmm. if you think about how awesome he is, it just puts you in line. Like, okay. It humbles right, like, you. It really does humble you. And I think there's just things that were like, that God, I'll just leave you at good. Because right. it's easy. Like, you know, you're, I think, there's I think a lot of words. If you do that, like, your conviction starts to hit. The stronger your conviction starts to hit, like, the stronger, like, you know you have to change things. The moment you know you have to change something, it's all a wrap from there. And it's either you choose who you don't, and a lot of people are just like, nah, I'm good. Right. It's, it's almost like halfway scary. Like, I, I believe, people, you know? I believe the reason why God tells us to do things like, like love is a powerful force is because look look at what happens. Like, we, we see all these school shootings and things like this. Look look at what mankind does when he doesn't love. Like, sure. like if you look at what mankind really is when he doesn't love, we discourage one another, we kill one another, we hurt one another, we lie on one another, we... We are so not even close to being godly mm. when we're not loving one another. And then he takes the brunt for it. And, and then God gets the blame for it. Like, you know, there is no God. Like, like every, why is he every one of these kids that, that shout out the schools and stuff like that, right. they always make some reference to God. Like, where is God now? And this and that. But I'll, I think in the body of Christ, please keep this <laughs> in mind. He's where they are going. And I was, especially <laughs> to the, the young believers who are in high school, if you're hearing me right now, I need you to understand, make sure that when you go to school you are being the light of christ Amen. and that you're not jumping in with these kids when they're picking dude. on somebody because it's key dude your school could be one to get shot up no it's because it's some kid has easy. a breakdown it's that serious man and i i remember as a kid i used to be that i mean first of all my last name's gay so i was one of the kids getting picked on but when i wasn't it was always like i was always purpose in my heart like let me be the guy who will pick up the pencils who just got knocked off his desk by some jerk like let me do because in all honesty like everybody wants that love everybody wants everybody wants that desire <laughs> but in all actuality nowadays because of the hatred that is growing i mean it, it says the love of many shall wax cold in the bible and it literally is taking place Wax cold means that it'll grow <laughs> cold, right. and it will gradually and consistently grow cold, and you'll see that, you know, nowadays, you're right, it's very easy for you to get shot up in, in class where you're supposed to be just because you're a jerk, just because you're not showing what people genuinely need, spiritually need, they might not realize it, but everybody needs love, and they need to feel the love of God because it changes everything. It really does. Now, uh, um, 
you you said you repeated. Did you like? I know it's adults in college, but did you see bullying in, in college? Mm-hmm. I see bullying in, in like I see bullying everywhere, in the stores, work, everywhere. Yeah. Bullying happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. it's horrible because you would think that, you know, growing up as a child, okay, it would stop in school, but it's bad when you see. It's bad when you see, like, grown adults do it. You know what I'm saying? Because you, ex- you, I almost want to say you expect better, but, like, you would think that they would know better. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you're, you're a grown person now. You're just being an example. Like, lead by example, but you're only leading by falsity. Like, you're not, you're not doing anything to benefit anybody. Like, what, what are you? Who are you? Mm. And then, like, <laughs> who do you think you are to sit here to judge somebody and put them down like what have you done who are you she said who are you that's pretty I cool. love it I like that who are you, <laughs> who are you? But, but, I, but you're right though you're right because I, I think that uh, we, this is the other thing I'm going to tell everybody even if you have money be careful how you treat people because it's like if I have money I can think that I think better than you because you don't have like I'm a millionaire and you make you know a hundred thousand dollars a year or fifty thousand dollars a year or Maybe fifteen thousand dollars a year. Look, it just might mean I know how to work money better, but my ability to have relationships with people may be god awful. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I mean? And so, like, I'm warning you, people. Listen, do not ever think you're higher than mm-hmm. what you really are. For people, what just happened? <laughs> She's like, get off me! Get the camera off me! Cut the commercial! Cut the commercial! Commercial! <laughs> But, but seriously, it's like, it's like really, I mean, be careful when you think you've, like, you're above people. Especially, I know a lot of uh, pastors, like, okay, you know, I know a lot of you, I have a lot of the, like, the mega church pastors listen to the show to see if I'm going to say anything about them, right? And I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are going to say something. <laughs> just, we are going to say something like, just because you are a mega preacher does not mean you're a mega man. It doesn't mean you're a mega woman. You know what I mean? You're just known by a lot of people. You know what I mean? But it doesn't mean that you are above those people. You're just yeah. known by them. You know it's like I mean? the popular group in school. Like, everybody thought that the popular kids were, like, the greatest kids in the whole wide world, and then you end up on graduation day, and the kids <laughs> that, like, they picked on, it was just like, you're nobody. And the kids that get, like, the biggest applause, and as soon as they walk across stage, everybody's like, Cricket, cricket. Yeah, I, I actually saw that. And it's oh, no, scary. me too. It's actually scary. Like, the people that you thought were so popular, they're the ones that nobody says anything for. But the ones that, like, they, they, they know that these people went through. And then they, they get all the applause. And it's so cool yeah. to, see, to see that. You know what I mean? But I, I, I just, like, I'm, for some reason, I'm, like, really scared. Like, when you said, when you said like, the whole thing about, uh, you know, being... Bully, like the bullying and, and stuff like that. Like, listen, people, I'm warning you. I'm talking to Christians right now. I'm not even talking about the world. The world of people are going to do what they do. Mm-hmm. Christians, if you are messing around and flipping the script, you know, where you're godly in church, but you're a jerk at school or at work, I'm, I'm telling you, God is... Go- it will bite you in the butt. Yes. Mm-hmm. God is going to allow you to go through whatever you're going to go through, and you're going to be crying out, and he's not going to pull you out until you've learned your lesson. And I, and, I, and I mean, and this, I know someone's going to be like, God doesn't punish. Listen, you know. You sow what you reap, man. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Yeah. Well, you reap what you sow. I apologize. You reap what you sow, man. Yeah, yeah. Just saying, dude, I mean, like, listen, dude, for real, don't challenge God on this. If you're not a loving person, if you're not a loving Christian, God is going to have to humble you, whether that's you lose something you love or someone you love or lose a job. I don't, I don't know. But he, you're going to get better <laughs> and he will allow you to experience exactly what you cause other people to experience mm-hmm. okay he yeah. will allow that, that to happen true. dude ah! and I, you know, I just want to say something before the show is over i want to say something before the show is over that you know we were talking about the mega preachers and you know treating everybody nice it really does go back to opinion look if, look god knew exactly what he was doing when he gave us you know very clear instructions because he knows that opinions are very dangerous the thing is that people always tell you your opinion does matter it it really does and it can destroy you and other people or it can cause you the thing is that if you weigh your life on opinion you are weighing you're weighing your life you are building your house on sandy ground jesus christ is literally the only solid place you can build 
uh, your life and your understanding of life on. That is literally where your your opinion should line up with the word of God. So really, it's not your opinion; it's just truth, straight up. You've got the yeah, clear. You've got the that's clear instructions. Because I'm serious. Because I've literally felt people try to put their fear on me as wisdom. Right. And that is so scary. Because it's like you want to have your ear inclined to wisdom. But when people's opinion is the exact opposite of what God told you to do, that's scary. Yes, and it's sir. almost like, I mean, there have been people I want to look at and be like, dude, do you know that Lucifer is like literally losing, using you right now, right now to second. try to discourage me? Mm -hmm. Like he's, you, and I don't care. Listen, I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's your mom, your best friend, your girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, cousin. It could be your children. Listen. Like, you got to know when to just do what God called you to do. Because people in their best intentions will try to talk you out of it. Sure. Seriously, they will. They Seriously. Will. And, and this is why you got to know the voice of God Amen. for real in your life. And you got to know what the Word of God says. Because a lot of times people really are scared for you. And they don't want you to get. They don't want you to be hurt. They don't want you to go through things. And they, they care about you. But you